Am I saying Edinburgh right? Edinburgh, yeah. Edinburgh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I hear a lot of people from sex on Edinburgh. Is there a D nice? Do you mean Denise? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, not Edinburgh. <laughs> Notice myself tan her armpit. Cool. Let's just cover that with hair. All right, so today, no hair, no makeup, and I'm in Edinburgh, Scotland. So if you're new here, my name's Taylor Wynn. I've been traveling around to different cities for the last year, and in a bunch of these cities, I've been doing makeover videos where I have a professional makeup artist give me a makeover, see what happens. It's been really fun to see how like a singular face can turn into so many different things, but also people's different techniques, what products they like to use, things I do and don't like. If you wanna see more of these, I have a whole playlist down below. I've done these in New York, Boston, Barcelona, San Diego, all over the place. But today we've got a dynamic duo. Okay, I'm pretty excited because we're doing makeup like usual and hair today. So I found two people who kind of work together pretty frequently, Emma and Chris. They both work at a studio called November Collective and both of their work looks beautiful so i'm very excited to see what they come up with i'm hoping i can i don't know if he has like extensions or something but i feel like that would be fun like usual i don't give any direction or things i like don't like i just tell them to do whatever they want with my face and hair so we'll see what happens i hope you guys enjoy this video while you're watching if you do you can give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it and if you want to stick around and see more of these you can always subscribe if you want to i gotta go let's go hop on a train folks i might change my shirt i don't know if i want to have tanner armpits this whole video <laughs> If you see me in a different shirt, there you go. All right, so I'm here with Emma in Edinburgh. We're at November Collective. Hello. <laughs> I'm Emma. Um, I'm a bridal specialist and makeup artist from Edinburgh. I've been doing makeup now for about eight years. I love it. I don't call it work. It's just a passion. I'm booked up two years in advance for bridal. Mostly two years work. in advance? Yeah. Oh my god. So you have yeah. to book now for, what, 2025? Yeah, pretty much. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's very busy, but it's great. I absolutely love it. So excited to be working with Taylor today, doing a little bit of my signature glam. So they do hair and makeup here. So if you want one place where you can just do both for your wedding, do weddings, people come here? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Most of do is like call out to the venue, but people do come in. So Emma's info will be down below along with Chris's, who's going to be doing my hair a bit later, but let's get into it. Are you just happy for me to go for it? Yeah, go yeah, for yeah, it. Just do whatever. Do whatever, you, do whatever okay. you think will look best. Have you and Chris like pre-coordinated or does he know what look you're doing? No. Okay. So I'm just using L'Oreal Hydrogen Yes to prep Taylor's skin at the moment. It's really nice because it's light and it's gel, but it gives you like a bit of tackiness so that the makeup stays on a little bit longer. Like the makeup will just grab right onto that. It smells good. It smells so <laughs> good. It's like aloe vera, mm -hmm. really fresh on the skin. So I'm just going to brush up Taylor's eyebrows slightly. I do prefer a really fluffy brow, really textured, not too defined and not too blocky because it's not, it's not that flattering, I don't think. I prefer I plucked my fate. eyebrows just for you. Did you? <laughs> You're a star. <laughs> I'm so bad about plucking my eyebrows. <laughs> I love the fluffy brow look. So I'm just running like a dark brown powder through. I usually work with powders on brows just because I feel like I've got a bit more flexibility to work with. So how long have you been doing makeup? I've been doing it for about eight years now. I've done it since I left school. I kind of fell into it, to be honest. You what? I fell into it. I didn't know what I wanted to oh, do. Really? Yeah. I loved art at someone's car alarm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of painting happening. Like growing up, I was always drawing and painting and everything like that. <laughs> Coffee break. <laughs> Is that what you use for brows? Mm hmm. Oh, cool. Which shade? Just that little one. I can't work out the names on that. Like it's flipped backwards. Yeah, I hate when they do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why are you making it more confusing than it used to be? How did you start your freelance stuff or did you work for a company first? I went to college, studied at college for two years and then I just kind of built up by doing like friends and family and then started advertising like on social media. I started working at a salon in the city centre, which is where I met Chris actually. Just renting a chair, built up my business from there. And then lockdown kind of came along. We were in full lockdown here and I couldn't work for about like 18 months. Oh man. Waited for that to all clear back up and then I was like, right, well, I want to come back with a bang. <laughs> so you're like, let's open our own salon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
and go like no half measures just do like find the biggest place that you can find and just go for it basically mm -hmm. Good for you guys. Yeah, it's been great though. Like, it feels like we've always been here. It's not like it's only been a year. Oh, you've only been in this space for one year? Yeah, we only opened last September. Where do you guys get most of your clients from? Because we worked at Edinburgh, a lot of clients have come with us. Like, they have still followed us, even though it's a bit of a journey mm -hmm. to come through. We still have a lot of clients that come, which that's awesome. we really appreciate. Because they offer everything, it's kind of like a one stop shop. Yeah, that's actually super nice because normally you have to like coordinate separate to find someone to do hair and someone to do makeup and then yeah, bounce it's all just... over the place. I was actually going to ask you about that brand because I've never, I've never seen this brand. No, so he's a UK based makeup artist oh, cool. called Mitchell. And it's like liquid blusher bronzers, it's all these different colours. Basically went viral on TikTok. And they're dry enough to use on the eyes or do mm -hmm. you use it like a primer kind of? Yeah, it's like a base, like just get that getting all that color. I love like doing these videos in other countries because some of the brands are the same, but then other ones that, like this I've never even heard of. Yeah, I like to support like UK brands where I can. Do you guys do classes on hair and makeup here? I do one-to-one -one training on oh, makeup, nice. yeah. You're naturally dark. <laughs> no, naturally like, like darker than yours, but like reddish, which is so funny because everyone's dyeing their hair <laughs> red right now. Everyone's going that? copper, yeah, yeah it's like, so what popular. Is happening? It's almost a joke now, it's like every day on Instagram someone else is dyeing their hair copper. I know, it's constantly on TikTok, like mm -hmm. the hair transformations. Pumpkin size the, hair, whatever. Literally, yeah. I'm quite tempted, but I'm not going to do it. I feel like it'd look really good with your skin tone, though. I know that I'd end up wanting to go back blonde and ruin my hair again, and Chris That's has had thing. enough of me by doing that, yeah. so. Does he colour yours, too? Yeah. Do you use an eye primer? I just use concealer. Mm. Which concealer did you use? Fenty. Fenty Beauty. I'm a die-hard Fenty. Like, you'll probably notice a lot of stuff that I'll use will be Fenty. I'm obsessed with it. I'm getting more and more clients saying, oh, I don't want lipstick, I just want, like, a stain or, mm -hmm. like, a liner and gloss kind of vibe. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whatever totally you fine. say. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite makeup to do? Probably bridal. I've done so much of it this year, but I absolutely love doing bridal. You don't find it stressful? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not stressful at all. You're the only person I've ever heard <laughs> say that. <laughs> Good for you, then you're doing the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's like the most popular makeup store here? Shop for makeup. Mm -hmm. Super Drug and Boots. I love Dude. Boots. Boots is so good, I love Boots. Mm -hmm. It's got like, oh, it's got Fenty in it, so I'm like, love that. They have Fenty? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. they do. Super Drug as well. What's your favorite place to shop for makeup? In the US? Yeah. Probably Ulta, because they have a drugstore yeah. and high end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you been to one when you visited? Yeah, it's like, Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk in, you can literally buy anything. Mm -hmm. Or if I'm just getting drugstore makeup, actually like CVS. Mm -hmm. I love CVS. If you know how to coupon, you can get some <laughs> good deals there. Or Sephora. I mean, I always love Sephora too. Would you want to come out with your own makeup line? I'd love to. I've always thought about it since I was like, since I started really, but I was always into makeup growing up. I definitely wore more back then than I did now, like when I was like a teenager. I don't know if you guys had a dream matte mist. Oh yeah, that yeah. was like that was my first foundation yeah. too. <laughs> it was like the orange line, yeah. like right here, yeah. <laughs> but they had the lightest one. It might have been called porcelain, but it just no, it was, was not porcelain. Yeah, yeah. it was like, it's like peach. Like yeah. yeah. And the like pink and green Maybelline mascara. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they still make that. Really? Yeah. I love their mascaras anyway, like the sky high one. Have you tried Too Faced Better Than Sex? Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, it's, it's so Lisa good. Kim. I like the Charlotte Tilbury, it's like called Pillow Talk Push Up. Mm hmm. I oh, love that one. It's so good, isn't it? That's one of my favorites. Have you tried the Lottie London Super Fake Mascara? I don't think I have, no. I think that one's a pretty close dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, really? Push Up Lashes, yeah. Are you cutting the crease right now? Yeah, I am, but I'm going to soften it out because I, I don't like too many harsh lines when I do makeup. I like it to be pretty soft. Did you use concealer? I just went back with the Fenty concealer, yeah, because it's good for layering up because I've already put it on, it's just going to sit on top of each other quite nicely. I'm just kind of softening that out with one of the brushes that I used to put on the eyeshadow. I want to start doing this more because I literally never go in with concealer after and kind of like do a soft cut crease, so I want to try this. But she's using the Makeup by Mario palette for this entire look and the brows. I would have done my hair a little bit. I thought Chris was going to go first. <laughs> just left it first. Have you had a half lash on before? Yeah, I love yeah. half lashes. I love half lashes. That's all I've been doing. Now yeah. when I put on a full lash, I'm like, whoa, you can't even see the eyeshadow or anything. Yeah. Which lash brand is this? So it's Tatty Lashes. They're a UK brand, again. A lot of the Kardashian makeup artists use them on them. Oh, so these are the Kardashian lashes going on. Yeah, pretty much. 
coating my natural lashes with mascara and then we're going to go in with the false lashes and I'm going to have all the exact products that she used listed down below in the description box. If you look at the floor instead of closing your eyes, you're less likely to glue your eyes shut. My eyes are watering. Do <laughs> you feel okay? Mm -hmm. Switch to everything. Yeah, they're comfortable. I'm just going to play about with them before I really want them to set in place because you don't have a lot of working time. But just like lift up Taylor's eye at the corner. Oh shit, I just kind of looked. <laughs> I, didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. I'm just wanting to add a bit more depth into this corner. Just adding a little bit of the darkest shade in the outer corner. And by the way, this studio is beautiful and they designed it all themselves, which is wild. You guys had all of these custom built? Yeah, they're actually IKEA wardrobes. Is this primer? No, it's just a little bit of concealer. Oh wow, that's so light. Fenty again. Fenty, give her the sponsorship. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I'm like waiting to be on the books, like come on. <laughs> I'm just like tidying up kind of underneath her eyes really softly. You like to use an eyeshadow brush with this? Mm-hmm. Just lighter? Yeah, just a fluffy brush, like just to disperse the product a little bit more. So she's actually using an eyeshadow brush to blend out the concealer, which I haven't seen yet. I'm just going back into Taylor's skin. I'm using the Fenty Oliver Glow Enhancer. Avoiding where I put that little bit of concealer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so annoying, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much if I go into it a little bit. You like glowy skin? Yeah, I love glowy skin, mm -hmm. yeah. Still gonna last. Still looks like your skin. Then before applying foundation, she was using a cream bronzer to add some warmth to my face. Typically something I would do on a bride because it's classic, but it's still kind of like quite modern with the half lash and like smokiness. How do you find your skin is quite dry? Right now, normal. I usually match to the neck. Nine times out of ten, especially living here, we don't see a lot of the sun. <laughs> um, a lot of people do wear fake tan, but don't do it on their face. It's been funny, like in different countries I've been, like some places you literally can't find self tanner. Really? Like Italy, I had to go to like five stores <laughs> to find self tanner. Really? Yeah. What self tan do you use? Like what's the popular brand here? You've got St. Moritz, that's like everyone's really kind of go to. Oh, is that from here? Yeah. Oh, I cool. Think, well, I don't know if it is, but it's the most popular one here. Um, I do use Bondi Sands though. This is normal, so I go, I go right down. I have a lot of right redness come. on my neck, so feel free to cover that. <laughs> I just like it all to be nice and blended. For her foundation, she used a mix of NARS Natural Radiant Foundation with Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I'm just using the same blush that I used on Taylor's eyes, so it all really connects in. I do work a lot with creams because I really enjoy it. I think you get more of like that skin-like finish rather than just lots and lots of powder. I usually set these like with a powder bronzer, but very, very lightly. She used a very small brush to blend out the cream concealer, I guess to like lay it on the face, almost like painting. And then she's using a combo of the Kabuki brush and the eyeshadow brush to blend that out depending on where it is on the face. I like how you use eyeshadow brushes on the face. Yeah. You haven't seen that yet. She's using the Fenty Loose Powder to set underneath my eyes and a little bit around my nose, but not using a lot of powder. And then going in with the pressed Fenty bronzer as a way to set the creams. Try and use a lot of blushes that have got a shimmer through it anyway. She was mentioning how she doesn't really like using a highlighter anymore. She likes just using a blush that already has a shimmer in it. So now going in with lip liner to line lips. I think I'm going to hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> you like to overline? Not usually. Not unless somebody asks me to. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting that all over kind of like a base. So she used a NYX suede lip liner and then now she's going in with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick with a brush to apply that to the lips. Can you just look up for me? And lastly, coating the bottom lashes with mascara. I don't want to take away from the style of lash by adding on too much mascara. So it's just literally the edges. I think we are done. We're done. Yeah. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Yeah. Can you open it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I love the eyes. Looks so good. You like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That is typically what I would do on a bride. So you did like mix of cool and warm on the eyes, kind of? Kind of, yeah. Like uh, with my dark browns, I prefer it it to be cooler because mm -hmm. I feel like you can get more depth with a cooler brown than you can a warmer brown. Yeah. Hair time. Once it gets here. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him my phone and see where it is. Okay. Do you want to? <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with Christopher. So I'm here with Christopher and he's going to be doing my hair now. Hi, I'm Christopher Laird. I am a session stylist. This is our lovely salon. Um, I do a mixture of both 
In salon work, do session, which involves editorial work with some big hair companies in the UK. And I also work with celebrity stylists, work for TV, film, all of the above. Very cool. So we have decided to go for a really on-trend look just now, which is kind of surrounding Kim Kardashian's Milano era of her like doing archaic sort of looks from Dolce & Gabbana. This is a massive trend because it's kind of different from kind of street style 90s. It's definitely more of a luxe 90s. So think more 90s supermodels, you know, runway looks that are now coming back into fashion massively in hair. So it's a really, really easy thing to do on yourself, but also a great one to do on like second day hair, during the day, then you wanna go do something at night that's super easy. So we're just going in with the GHD Platinum Plus. This is GHD's best technology. So this is a smart styler. The highest level of technology for the hair, so it means your, sty your style is gonna last for so much longer. So you curl and flat iron with the same one? Yeah, I jump between the two. Definitely would use a styler for your hair type just because you're passing through two plates you're going to get a much smoother result what is my hair type you have thick coarse hair actually i'm saying that you're not actually that coarse you're probably you've got fine strands but a lot of them mm -hmm. but when you're working I, I tend to not prep this to be smooth first and um, a lot of the time if i was doing this sort of thing I, I would probably blow dry the hair quite smooth with a lot of prep i quite like the sort of natural looking texture through this just working through big sections because you don't want this to be too set this is just to add a bend to the hair. I'm on like four day hair, so <laughs> Well, this is like... perfect then for you. <laughs> okay, four great. day hair, this is like the best <laughs> way to, to kind of get through that. Last night I was like, do I wash my hair? I don't know. No, <laughs> it's funny, like some stylists are so specific, like has to be on clean hair and like has to be this. And I'm like, I actually really don't mind. I kind of think work to what with what you've got. You know, to be fair, your hair for it being four days is actually in pretty good way. I'm like a mixture between education on a big scale. So we do a lot of like master classes. So my kind of style is very much gorgeous hair. And that's like the only way I describe it really. No, I know what you mean. It's like, like very voluminous. I like, and like, I like, they're very wearable. I like wearable looks. Like wearable, but at its best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wearable on steroids. You like to, to get volume on the top, you like to go up? Yeah, so instead of pulling down, I mean, this really doesn't have much of a technique to it. It's very much, you know, adding movement to the hair where I need it. Very little volume through the top. You'll get much more volume if you pull up. Do you feel like the middle part is still more in than like side? Side part is definitely coming back. I feel like every single trend in life now is surrounded <laughs> by the Kardashians. So Kim did a side part, so everyone's gonna do a side part soon. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through your root area and just spray any texture spray. It's from Authentic Beauty Concept. Let's get that in frame. And like the same company that own like Swatchkoff. All natural vegan brand. Good way of doing this when you're working in ponytails. Okay. Like a deconstructed ponytail. So sometimes when you do one, do you feel like you get like a like loose piece here, like a saggy piece. Yeah. Doing it in two, popping your head slightly back, tying your bobble off, or your hair, what, a ponytail pony No, say this. it how you say it. A bobble. <laughs> I see that on TikTok, on TikTok all the time. People really do not like when like British bobble. people say bobble. <laughs> like, uh, what else would you call it? It's a bobble. Because what do you guys call it? A ponytail holder? Ponytail, yeah. I'm like, that's just so funny. Or a hair tie. A hair tie. A bobble. 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 Bobble, bobble but bobble. Bobble. So I'm just going to go through twisting the back section up. So kind of like you're going to put it in a claw clip. And I like to use geisha pins. These are like just prong like single prong pins that they're quite big i think this is the thing with this you kind of want to have bigger pins to support especially your hair because that's one pin and it's already holding it Whoa. um so you don't really need an awful lot of these these are from a brand called glorias they're like old school hair accessory brand where do you get them these are just from Amazon. You kind of go in and like flip back on yourself. So you've kind of got some tension on the hair mm. and you just slide in. Kind of create like a scaffolding in the hair. And this is kind of the fun bit at the front. Very, very visual. So you kind of want to just play around with this. When Kim does it a lot, she does it quite flat and wide. Whereas I feel like for me, I quite like it to 
have a bit more of a bun feel and kind of a bit messier. These grips are from, well, you just call them bobby pins, from YS Park. These are slightly more expensive. The thing is with grips, if you spend a little bit more on pins and grips, they last so much better. And you don't need to use a million of them. I actually don't use a lot of hairspray. I use a lot of texture spray over the hairspray. I like hair that moves. I'm not a hairspray hairdresser, which, you know, sometimes when you get hair up, it's like, <laughs> yeah. they like put so on. much, <laughs> they put so much hairspray in your hair. So with the bangs, we're going away from the face, doing one turn and pointing down to the ground. So you do one turn at the root, so that you're kind of the tail of the section is back towards you, and then pull straight down to the ground. And this kind of gives you that sort of long pulled out texture. It's like that barely there texture. Let the section cool, and then on the other side, you want to change hands. This is really important when it comes to doing symmetry in here, you really need to change your hands or you'll not get the same shape. Yeah, because it always looks totally different on my hair when I'm yeah. doing... Everyone says they've got a good side and the bad side yeah. when they cut off. It's because you're not changing hands. Place the styler, that side you're going that way, the wire in the same place, that side you're going that way. So I feel like that's how to get the best symmetry. Okay. Because everyone always says that. They always are like, oh my God, one side just never sits right. Then you'll get perfect symmetry. So I've added the, this side with this hand. This side, you're getting a lovely kick back. How often do you think people should wash their hair? I think that's totally personal preference. Everyone kind of knows their own hair. Some girls' hair looks amazing, you know, at five days, or some people do need to wash their hair once a day. I, I wash my hair twice a day. You do? Mm -hmm. I think as Whoa. long as you've got good product and good aftercare, mm -hmm. I think that's, that's kind of what I would say. That's how to get good hair every day, good aftercare. One thing that I struggle with with hair is knowing like where to start, like where the curl should hit. Especially when I'm doing something like this where you're, the only piece of hair that's left around your face is your bangs. Mm -hmm. So for you, you wanna keep the eye open. So a turn just at your eyebrow or your tempo. This will then open this area up here, which on a woman is the most flattering shape. You're gonna have much more width and space to your face, so it looks much more flattering. So you've got this frame in your face here. Even though this is really soft and you know, doesn't have a lot of structure to it, it still opens your face and it still creates this sort of like width to your face that so keeps everything narrow and then everything going open and, and kind of snatched. Right. There we go. Us. Are we good? Yeah, we're done. Okay, good. <laughs> wow, really that like it. really made everything come together. I love the, the front pieces too, because I can never do that on myself. This is going to be really on trend. Wait, so what do you call this? Like an up Dolce Vita. Okay. I always call it like Dolce Vita. <laughs> if I was doing this without talking, probably three minutes. Yeah, that's so quick. <laughs> it's so quick. That's it's, nice. That's it's, crazy because you would look at this and think it like took oh all this Oh my God, it's like really effort. intricate, yeah. but it's so straightforward. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love no, it. Problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs>